Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is going to be your um, new moon horoscope or your geoscope rather for the um, the upcoming new moon in Leo, which happens on the 19th of August. So you may have noticed that the order that I upload has, um, varies a bit. And what I try to do is not give any one sign a preference. So I tend to start with the sign of the lunar phase and then the, um, take the opposite sign and then work um, kind of out from those two signs um, on either side um, until I reach the middle, so to speak. Um, so anyway, that aside, um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for returning. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated. Um, so I've had a piece of copper sitting on the cards. Um, the thinking behind it being that Venus is now in Cancer, and I think a lot of us could do with a bit of abundance and messages of kind of hope and heart-centered stuff. Um, and then I've got the usual quartz shard to clear the energies. So let's shuffle the cards and see what wants to come out. Um, you have to also excuse the noise, but um, it's very, very humid here and it tends to make my computer play up. So I've had to leave the windows open and that means a bit more noise than usual. So apologies in advance. Hopefully you won't hear too much of it. Oopsie. So overall, from an astrological point of view, it's fair to say that this new moon will be um, much more upbeat and positive than we've had in a while, basically since that lovely um, solar eclipse um, new moon that we had back in June, which was, I suppose, when we were in um, Gemini season, actually. So, um, but the aspects look good. We have moved through all those squares and oppositions involving Mercury and Venus and um, Mars and are kind of hitting um, calmer waters for the second half of August. So that's that's quite good. And I think it's reflected quite nicely in the aspects around this particular new moon, which we'll get into shortly. Okay, let's cut the cards and see what wants to come out. Okay, so Gemini, you're kind of feeling um, a little bit um, passionate or very, very focused about something. Um, Rubeus is Mars in Scorpio. So this is kind of still waters running deep, which is not like you at all. So you're brooding about something. Uh, we'll find out more as the cards come out. All right. Okay, so these things are looking good when it comes to family and home. Uh, Puella here is Venus in Libra, so a fellow air sign. And Puella is all about harmony, beauty, um, symmetry, creativity, civilized behavior, basically. So um, I think things are going well when it comes to family. And I suspect that you may be doing a little bit of home decorating with, with this Puella here. You know, Libra likes things to be, um, you know, they like to surround themselves with beauty. So I think that's probably what you're doing at the moment. Now, when it comes to uh, significant relationships, so these can be both business and personal, um, we've got Via, which is the moon in Cancer. So this is about movement. It's about a change of direction. It's also about uh, shifts and momentum. So um, maybe you are um, having thoughts about what needs to change in certain key relationships. Um, maybe you are keen to travel to see somebody. Maybe you're feeling passionate about somebody because you're separated from them and you are keen to travel that's um, a possibility but it could also be about um, a change of heart of some kind so um, maybe things have been um, there's been a deadlock possibly you know this can sometimes be about manipulation and about power struggle um, but now there seems to be some um, kind of movement and and so perhaps a solution can be reached, but we'll find out more as we do all the conversions. Okay, career-wise, things are looking up. So this is the Sun in Leo. This is Fortuna Major. 
Um, so this is kind of reiterating the solar energy and um, that's going to be very prevalent at this particular new moon, which happens in Leo, of course. So that's third house for you. But nonetheless, it looks as though it's going to have a positive impact on career because Fortuna Major here is about success, about victory, about uh, charisma. So, you know, if you are wanting to be in the public eye or if you are in the public eye, I think you're going to be getting your confidence back. Um, it's also about... Um, just wins, career wins, basically. So if you've been working quite hard at, um, you know, at, at achieving a particular goal, then um, it, it does look good for this particular two-week cycle. But we'll find out more once I've done the conversion. So just hang five and I'll be back shortly. Hi, Gemini, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I've done the conversion. So let's dive into reading in more detail. So this particular new moon happens in your third house, which is all about communication, as well as your mental outlook, your kind of logical mind, um, self-expression, and close relatives or immediate people that are in your immediate environment. Um, so this can be neighbors, it can be, you know, close family, um, you know, brothers and sisters, siblings, that kind of thing. Um, and here we've got a fresh start because a new moon is usually about a fresh start. Mm -hmm. And... It seems for you as though this is going to be a fresh start in many respects. We definitely have, we, we first of all, we've got the moon in Cancer here. So we've got the air being repeated. Um, so this does seem to be about um, movement, shifts, um, uh, and also about maybe room for maneuver when it comes to significant others, because, you know, Via is echoed here in your seventh house. So um, it's possible that due to a shift in mindset or perhaps um, a different way of communicating, you are kind of opening up the channels with um, a significant other so that you can s discuss whatever has kind of got you brooding. Um, now, it's interesting because we've got two, um, we've got two geomantic figures here that represent a fresh start. We've got Kaputraconus twice here in your eighth and your eleventh house. So Kaputraconus for me is the new moon. It is um, a solar eclipse. It is beginnings. Um, so there is definitely a fresh start for you. It looks as though it has something to do with working together with one other person because we've got the eighth house highlighted here, which is about joint ventures, shared resources, trust, intimacy, all of those things. And then we've also got a fresh start in your 11th house, which is about friendships. It's also about social media and professional associations or where we come together in larger groups um, to try to achieve things that we, you know, around shared values or ideals. So, so like a political movement, um, etc. So there's, there's definitely um, um, kind of movement and momentum here and it's interesting because at the time of this new moon your ruling planet mercury will be <clears throat> in conjunction to the sun and the moon in the third house so <clears throat> definitely an emphasis on um movement of the mind movement of you know back and forth between people possibly also travel this this can be um travel uh, short journeys basically um and it can also be something like a mode of transport that is also highlighted by the third so fresh starts are possible in all those areas now when it comes to the significant relationship it looks as though it may either be a business partnership um, and that's why we've got the emphasis on the eighth house here or it could be um, a friendship um, somebody that you've shared secrets with for example who knows things about you and vice versa um, and this you know this could be the issue of trust kind of coming up Maybe trust has been broken in some way. Um, but it does look as though there is the opportunity here for at least dialogue, if nothing else. Um, and it's the outcome of your reading. So it does seem to be the, an important theme here. Now, what's interesting, too, from an astrological point of view, is that Mercury, the Sun, and the Moon in Leo will all be making a trine aspect to Mars and Aries. And Mars and Aries sits here in your 11th house. So the 11th house is definitely being emphasized when it comes to um, movement, momentum, making the effort, initiating, all those kinds of things. So if, for example, you've been, there's been a stalemate between, between you and this other person, um, no co communication or contact, then I do feel as though um, the channels of communication could open again, possibly initiated by you. Um, because, we, you know, we've got this, the Mercury, the, the 
Canada Communication making the try to um, Mars, and it's always the planet that moves fast that applies to the other planets. When so Mercury moves faster than than um, than Mars, and um, so so I suspect that you will have to initiate here. Um, once again, apologies about the noise. Um, and then over and above that, um, the, the Sun and the Moon and Mercury will also be making some positive aspects to um, the nodes. Now, the nodes happen to be personal to you. The node, the North Node is currently Gemini, so it's in your first house. And that, for me, talks about, um, again, it's emphasizing this idea of new karmic contracts. So this could also be new people possibly coming into your life, new friends, new um, co-workers, um, people that you feel that you can work with, groups of people, perhaps your soul tribe, um, kind of coming in, or a partner, some like a business partner. This could be why we've got this positive sunny energy here in your 10th house. Um, and I mean, it's emphasized again by Fortuna Major in your outcome. And as I said, it is the sun in Leo, which is the sign of this particular um, a lunar phase and it's also weird we're still in leo season basically so um definitely the sun is shining on you when it comes to career fame and honors um or for aligning with your soul purpose and that may be connected to aligning with your soul tribe um very very interesting um so these uh, nodes sit across your first and your seventh houses which definitely is emphasizing the idea of soul contracts so I do feel as though there are there is movement when it comes to um, almost kind of predestined um, uh, events now that kind of unfold that may bring certain people into your life, um, or make certain people leave, or kind of um, you know ask you to renew contracts with with people um, where things have kind of come to a standstill, um, and then. The other, I'm trying to think of the other aspects that are happening at this, oh, Venus, that's right, Venus and Uranus. So uh, at the time of the full moon, we'll have a wonderful aspect between Venus and Cancer, which is sitting here in your second house, and then um, Uranus and Taurus, which is in your 12th house. And Uranus has just recently gone retrograde. So Uranus, rather than working in the external world, is working in the internal world. And it's an interesting we've got Uranus here in your 12th house, which is the house of the psyche and the subconscious. So... Um, I think this is about um, a shift in perception, um, possibly related to how you value yourself, because Venus and Cancer are sitting in your second house of resources, and these aren't always monetary. They can sometimes be about how we value ourselves, our self-worth, and how we value our skills too, and that may play into this idea of you know, career um, improvements or successes and wins. Um, so I feel as though there's going to be a positive internal shift for you um, that's going to make you perhaps see um, certain skills or abilities in a new light and that's going to allow you to work more closely with other people because we've got conjuncture here which is about collaboration and marriage it's about union so um, I do feel as though it's about certain things coming together in your mind this is why we've got three that possibly leads to either a shift in perspective or um, a change of heart and um, communication which then allows you to sort of like join with others or create movement, room for movement when it comes to certain collaborations that um, is paving the way for success. Um, certainly this doesn't seem as though it has to do with love because we've got a Missio here in your fifth house, which is uh, the house of new loves and, um, and of children. And of course, things are looking good here when it comes to family. So um, a Missio is really about separations, breakups, um, you know, a sense of things not really working out. So I don't feel that it's that. Um, I feel that this is more to do with either a friendship, um, a professional association, or a business partnership of some kind. Um, but the outcome of your reading is really positive. As I say, we've got both of the fortunes here. These are both really, really positive. So this is almost like the part of fortune and the part of spirit in the in astrology. Um, so this is about external success, about financial gain, about um, kind of like an improvement in status, so outer worldly success, and then Fortuna Minor is about um, help, protection, um, positive shifts in circumstances, and both are to do with luck and serendipity. So I do feel as though this particular new moon phase 
which you know um, begins with the new moon but then lasts for the two weeks of the waxing moon cycle is going to be a very fortunate time it's going to be a time of where things are on the up basically and you know if we think about fortuna major as being about the wheel turning uh the wheel of fortune turning you know it's interesting that we've got via here which is about the movement it's about forward movement this is the path or the road so it's about journeys it's about moving forward it's about progression so if you have felt frustrated over the last month or so particularly during uh those june and july full moons that we had in capricorn and aquarius which were um kind of clouded or interfered with by a lot of um, difficult astrological transits. I think that you're going to feel as though the path is kind of clearing now as we move into this new lunar cycle and things are definitely going to be start going to be going your way. So I think that this energy is going to phase out and I think you're going to end this two week cycle um, in a much more positive place than you know where you began so good news Gemini really pleased for you um I should just add as well that Fortuna Minor is here in your sixth house which could be help from um you know work colleagues from a PA um or you know if you if you've applied for a job um then I do see you know this as being good news coming in as far as a job is concerned and it may be linked to um a company that is based overseas or that ha is a kind of global corporation it's got foreign offices um, or it has to do with either education publishing um, culture or the law um, or religion of course spirituality that's the other one but yes yeah, really 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 positive so i'm really pleased for you um do let me know in the comments below um how this has resonated if you've enjoyed this reading do hit the like button and thank you for all your likes, um, shares and subscribes. I am really appreciative of the increasing support that the channel is getting. And I hope it's going to go from strength to strength. So all the best for the upcoming fortnight. And I'll catch you again for my new uh, full moon reading in two weeks.